John Gill's Exposition of the Entire Bible, brought to you by Discovering the Scriptures, read by Dr. Peter John. Revelations chapter 6, verse 10. Scripture, quote, And they cried with a loud voice, unquote. John Gill, quote, With great ardor and feverency, being very pressing and importunate, and which shows that they were awake and not asleep, and that the soul does not sleep with the body in the grave, or is after the death of that in a state of insensibility and inactivity, as some imagine. Unquote. Scripture, quote, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true? Unquote. John Gill, quote, The person they address is either the Lamb in the midst of the throne, with whom they were and under the shelter of whom they were safe and happy, or God the Father, who sat upon the throne, whom they call holy, because being so in his nature, and as appears in all his works, he could not but hate and so revenge the evil that was done to them by their cruel persecutors, and whereas he is true, to all his threatenings, as well as his promises, and faithful to every word of his, they doubted not, but he would judge and avenge them on their enemies, but they seemed desirous to know how long it would be first, saying, unquote. Scripture, quote, Dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Unquote. John Gill quote, The men of the world, idolatrous persons, earthly princes, who had shed their blood, and which they desire not out of any sinful or malicious affection, but that the holiness and justice of God might appear, and also his truth and faithfulness in his promises to them and threatenings to his enemies, and that God in all things might be glorified, and his church and people on earth might be supported and delivered. See Job chapter 24, verse 12. Unquote. Reading from the scripture, King James Version. Men groaned from out of the city, and the soul of the wounded cried out, Yet God layeth not folly to them. Unquote. End of John Gill's Revelation, chapter 6, verse 10.